to do my feet and um you know like i would like to do my feet and whatever um at the front next they were like oh who told you that i was like they were acting like i was lying or something like that you know like they was acting like they didn't want so i said i already called here and you told me to come here it was like oh nobody isn't available i said no you guys told me i could come here i i drive from so far i come here and you guys told me i could come here and next lady was like, you know what, uh, uh, yeah, let, let her, just let her get a space or whatever it is. And I was like, oh, this was my first red flag. Anyways, I didn't really say anything at all. I just sat there and I, I calm and, you know, anyways, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I basically was called up. No, I went up to their, their, this, their pedicure section. Um, you know, I went to the pedicure station and did my pedicure. And, you know, after my pedicure, I went, I came downstairs to now pay the bill. Now, when I was paying the bill, this bitch, and I'm going I'm to call her a bitch because that, what the fuck you are. And probably, you're probably even up on a live, you watch what I'm going to call her name because I'm not bringing on a business place, but does a show no how fat phobic and how discriminated Jamaica is against curvy women and thicker women. It's like, um, she came around to me and instead of complimenting me, she said to me that, you look good, but you could have worn a dress. That is what the bitch said to me. And I said, am I not dressed properly? I said, am I against your dress code? I was in a fucking leggings and a fucking top. A tank top is fucking summer, bitch. Like, what the fuck do you want me to wear? You could have worn a dress or something. You're so sexy. Everybody's looking at you. That was what the fucking female said to me in this fucking place after spending nearly five fucking thousand dollars for a fucking pedicure in fucking Jamaica. No, no, like niggas, you know, I must spend my blood clot money when I go places, and you know, I'm wanting them to understand blood clot this. Me not dibby dibby blood clot, y'all. When I go to people's store, I ma buy what I fucking want. Me not spend small change at people's place. And it's not even about that, but me not go to people's place to go disrespect them. Me always polite. Me not make loud nice. Me not go to people's place to behave like a skittle. I mean, I not wear G-string. Me not wear certain clothes. Me tell you already, I don't wear certain clothes. The lady say everybody in the place somebody said in here in the comment section like them experience that at the place it's like on a no so it's something where the bitch them up there do somebody said in here but me now go say it out of my mouth but this is somebody comment on him and they said the vibe is giving yes it look like say some of them always do right the woman look for me and said to blood clap me say everybody in the place i look for me everybody i look for me and if me could address in our one dress me make everybody look for me and them something there I mean, just smile it off. You know, as bad as all I feel, I just smile. I just, you know, like, me just, me just smile and say, um, you know, am I not in clothes, you know? And she was like, no, you could have worn a dress. And I just smile, knowing the monster that is in me. I know I'm going to tell that woman, yeah? To go suck her mother. I just happily... Take the something and walk out with a smile. I may never come to TikTok. I may never talk about it. And this is a, like two months ago. And I never spoke on it. And I felt so fucking bad. Deep down inside. Deep down inside, I felt bad. And I still will not call this name. I see people commenting the name and saying that it, it's, it's like it's that place. But I will not say it out of my mouth. That is how most of these people treat you in Jamaica. You wear a jeans pants because your body big. Me never ask God for make me, you know. I did not ask God to make me. I, me, I never I saw my band, my body, my granny look the same way. My auntie them have the same shape. Me never ask God for make me. I did not ask God for that. I never ask God for that. girl you should have blasted them the same way because i know how people are on tiktok and oh my always of course i actually kept it to myself i kept it to myself because i know how people are towards me on the internet i did not want to come to the internet to talk about talk about that and up until this day i will never ever even like you know like say it's called the name mr people call the name because i look like say it's regular they do these things to black women 